Hello, good evening everyone. This is Life Issue and this is Blessing. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Have you seen the video going viral of Imo State indigents rioting because of their new governor? <laughs> Now, I don't know if you watched the inauguration of Ozodema. I'm going to show you the video now so that you can see as Oshimoro, Okoracha and the likes. We are rejoicing and being happy that he won and shaking their hands. I'm going to show you all the video that I have on this incident. Okay, so watch. <laughs> I'm singing the song. We are a united. We are a united. As we come away, we put the part behind. Excellent. 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 Foreign exchange. Thank you so much for watching that video. I mean, did you watch Okorocha like really dancing and singing and praising God? And you know, it got me wondering why was he so happy that Uzodema is now the governor? We all know the truth. Ihedioha was really after him trying to recover Imo's lost funds and the embezzled funds. And now he has someone whom EFCC actually said 
also committed his own fraud, Billions, who has actually been banned from going to the U.S. He's now a governor of a state. <laughs> what a country that we live in. A man that EFCC indicted, or they are, they are still on his case, is able to contest an election and he's, he has not won. And a fellow looter is dancing that he's now the governor. Of course, that means that everything that Okorocha stole will not be recovered anymore. Ihedioha was actually trying to bring back the lost glory of Imo State, but now it's not going to happen anymore. So when Imo people or Imo people are rioting and talking about what the judicial system have done to them, let's try and understand them, okay? I don't think, if you ask me from, because I tried to call some people today, I tried to do my research, APGA, PDP, and other political party winning any of the eastern states, okay, but not APC. Igbos hardly vote for APC. I, I don't know how a candidate whose party was APC could have won Imo State. We don't know. And that's why people are rioting because they just feel like their vote was not counted or did not count. What is the need for us to vote if the government will actually impose someone who will bid to their tune? What's the need for us to even be at the polling station when they already know who they want to rule us? The same people, the same cartel, the same cabal ruling us and looting us. When are they ever going to change? When are they actually going to have mercy on the poor masses? Don't they care? I mean, you know, sometimes I just wonder what goes on in their mind. They just want to loot and loot and loot and loot and they don't have conscience. They don't have conscience at all. This person finished, the next person comes in. Just like Okolocha trying to put his son in law in the government as a governor. They don't have conscience. Anyway, that brings me to Father Mbaka's prophecy. Um, I'm aware that last year... I think it was around November. Uzo the man went to his church, went to worship at Adoration Ministry ground at Enugu. And that was when the first prophecy came. So Uzo the man came to visit him. Must have seen him privately. And then he declared that Uzo the man, hope Uzo the man will get back, you know, the governorship. And then 1st of January, he repeated the same. And finally, Uzo the man, won the supreme court and i went through my bible and i, I was just wondering go oh, when god gives a prophecy must they always come to pass or unless the prophets actually want it to come to pass for Mbaka happens to be like they said a man of god but he knows the heart of the people of Imo state he knows that they did not want Hope Ozodema to be their governor. So assuming God gave him a vision, why did he not talk to God? Why did he not make a petition for Imo state people? What are prophecies and visions for? There's so many accounts in the Bible where God has given a prophecy or a vision to a man of God. And the man of God changes that situation because it is not what the people want or the people cried out i mean when i see comments people praising Fadam Baka, talking about it i'm is that the will or the mind of the people is hope Uzodema actually god's will for the people if the people did not vote him does god work against his own people so many christians in Imo states but I was just wondering, this father, because really, I've heard about him so much. I've never done any video about him. But I just had to think about, okay, let's look at all of his prophecies, okay? And I had to go to his website. This is Fadambaka's website. And I had to think, look at what were his previous or what prophecies has he made before? And did they come to pass? So... I could remember that he made a prophecy in 2015 
that President Buhari was going to be our president. And yes, President Buhari became our president. President Buhari, since he became our president, the country, we have been crying out. People are actually not happy with his policy. And I asked myself the same question. Did Father Mbaka see this prophecies or this vision for him to pray for it not to happen because god could show you a vision that was not meant to happen just for you to pray against it well is he doing what god wants him to do you know okay let's what's next prophecy that? yeah he said atuki will not win the 2019 you know cut case so uh obi will not win the 2019 election so he did prophesy that and there's so many prophecy from this man of God. Well, that yeah, it happened, but most of his prophecies are prophecies that the will of the people is all against the will of the people. And Adam Bradford loved Obi. They would have wanted him to come back. Well, yeah, he prophesied and he did not come back. Nigerians did not want Buhari and yeah, he prophesied and then Buhari came. So I'm just wondering, is God giving him a vision for him to counter what is about to happen? Because sometimes God actually show his prophets what is about to happen for them to change it. I don't know. He said he has other 39 prophecy that he has not shown us. Maybe Father Mbaka should start praying against or talking to God to change his mind on some of those prophecies that untell the people. Maybe God wants him to intercede on the behalf of his people. Maybe God has seen an impending problem coming and he shows this to Father Mbaka for him to prevent it. But because he is very political, he is not listening to the voice of God. That is all I have to say about this matter. Does he see? Yes. From all the things I, if, if really he's not actually conniving with the politicians, things that he's saying is from God. Yes, he does see. But it's about time he actually asks himself a question. Is God showing him something that he needs to stop? Is God talking to him to change a situation that is about to happen that is not for the good of the people. This is a question for all who are supporting his prophecy and saying, yeah, he's seeing. Yes, he can be seeing, but is he seeing for it to happen or is he seeing for him to prevent? That's all I have to say about this. I pray that God's intervention will happen in Imo State. Thank you. God bless.